got some. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Well, welcome. Thanks, Quentin. I think the theme of this video is great things can come in smaller packages. Oh, right? yeah. Isn't that? I like the, that. Yeah. Well, that's what we are going to talk about today. We're yeah. going to talk about 12 fretters. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll just, we've got four examples. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not uh, really doing a comparison, just showing you what you get with different guitars, different woods, but they're all 12 frets. That's what they all have in common. So mm -hmm. 12 fret, you know, some people don't know what that means, but it means the neck right here joins the body at the 12th fret, right. okay? Where other guitars will join at the 14th fret, mm -hmm. which would bring this out, right? Right. right? So so the bridge back here is further back, okay? That's one thing that will change the tone of a, of a 12th fret guitar. It actually does move the bridge back. So I didn't know that. It does, yep. So you get it pushed back a little bit more. It's in a different spot of the, on the top of the guitar. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the point of connection yeah. where you're going to be anchoring yep. is, is going to change how yep. the top's going to respond and vibrate. Yep. And I'm not even going to tell you what that means in tone because. Well, I mean, I think everyone it's, it has means a it's going to be idea. different than, you know, it's 14 different. fret. Right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, I think playability, right? Uh, if you're talking, you know, the, the cutaways like Taylor's, it's probably, I don't know, a lot of acoustics. There's certainly folks that get up to this region. Yeah. But uh, I mean, as far as playability, um, I think a lot of times these frets up here are neglected yeah. or not used. So, you know, it's kind of the space that you can yeah. shrink down and focus on, you know, the place where most people spend a lot of their time down here. Playing it acoustic. is nice on a 12 fret to have that cutaway if you want to if you want to play up there because you, you do run there. out really quickly. Yeah. But a lot of people are only going to stay right here anyway. Yeah, I've heard it said there's no money above the fifth fret. Exactly. So, you know, so I think a lot of your players are staying right in here. Mm -hmm. Now everything's moved in a little bit. So it, it, what does you feel just for comfort wise? Is it your, well, I mean, your so hand is not as far out? The, the, it's, it feels compact. And, you yeah. know, it feels like uh, when, when your arm is extended, it's like it feels like it takes more energy to, yeah. to do what you want it to do. When it's this close, it feels com more comfortable, like I'm... Yeah. Again, we, we made that reference to like Mike Tyson, you yeah. know, being in there and being powerful and compact. And I think the 12 fret guitars generally, that's a, a big feature. Yeah. I know people um, like them because of the body. The body mm -hmm. is small and it's a comfortable guitar, right? So we have yeah. a couple reasons. Some people like them sitting on the couch. Mm -hmm. It's just an easy guitar to play. Other people like them for specific tonal reasons and, mm -hmm. you know, finger style and this and that. So this one, let's just let's just uh, yeah. hear it. This was all mahogany. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the Taylor. Five, five twenty-two, twelve fret. A lot of bass. This one has a surprising amount of low end. Yeah. This plays really well. It's Taylor, so it just feels yeah. like a. Okay. Let's just switch over to this one. This you is bet. a this would be more of an old style Martin kind of. Okay, like this a, one's actually yeah. a double the body shape. So what I range. what I hear different. Yeah, immediately is it's a uh, it's brighter. It's a little yeah. bit louder, uh, but it's still got a nice depth for a guitar of this body size, right? And all of these, you know, I can kind of squeeze them in and get close to them. Some depth in there. I wouldn't say quite as much as the Taylor. And, that, and that's, that depends on what you're going for. Are you trying to get like a bluesy sound? Are you trying to get an old timey, you know, old time stuff? Depends on what you're playing, right? So that's a specific sound. You're, some people are going to be looking yeah. for that kind of smaller. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to Rosewood. Okay, real quick. So, that's good. Real quick, we'll keep talking 12 frets. The other thing you often see on a 12 fret guitar is the slotted, slotted headstock. Stock, yeah. Okay. So, I think it looks cool. I've always liked the look of a slotted headstock. I confess, I don't enjoy changing strings right. on a slotted yeah. headstock. So Our guy here has got it down to, he's really right. good. But it is a little harder to do that. What you get, though. You know what? I just I just point this out. I just don't change strings. That's the well, compromise I've made. Bring it to us. <laughs> we'll take care of it for you. So this is a limited edition Taylor. Mm -hmm. This is a rosewood back inside, okay, mm -hmm. with, a, with a cedar top. Mm -hmm. um, and... Which one is this? Uh, 
look inside. I can't remember. It's a limited edition. It's a 12. Limited edition. Okay. It's a 812. 812. Mm -hmm. Yep. 812 okay. limited edition because Very of the top and some of the attractive. binding and stuff. But it is the 12 is the small body, mm -hmm. rosewood and redwood top. Cut away electric. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. The, the, the slot headstock. The other mm -hmm. thing that does, just so you know, the tension of the string coming down and going down further into the headstock actually does give some tension and it actually changes you know how much tension and how much the tone the transfers through the neck so that's another reason so it, it could be a little snappier it could be a little more um you know and they are they're punchy and they're snappy guitars they're very yeah. i mean it, uh, i i don't i don't uh, discount anything that you say because you know way more well, than I do but there is a difference of transfer of sound when you get that much break angle on yeah, with yeah. the strings I mean all I know is I can't do the there you go can't do my behind the nut bends there, there. but yeah. that one. but it sounds Rose very one. again very punchy and, yeah. and you know feeling now next we'll another I'll guitar which is a Martin again oh, right this is also a little guitar this is a single O 28 12 fret this is this is uh, very warm kind of I, I don't say I wouldn't say subdued I'd say it's subtle it's um, it's kind of a mellow guitar but what I can feel is you know I'm playing with fingers but this thing, I, I don't want to blow out of my. Yeah. It'll it'll project a lot. I can tell. Yeah. Plays very nice. Uh, again, it's all of these feel punchy. You know, yeah. like ooh, like compact, yeah. you know, like a snub nose or something. Yeah. What you got? That's cool. Quentin. Yeah. I think we've covered most aspects yeah. of the 12 fretter. Do you have any final uh, comments? No, I, I think, um, no, I th there's just n They're no fun. substitute for tr getting out and trying guitars for yourself. Yeah. Here's the other trick is when you're picking a guitar for yourself, don't just play it yourself. Have somebody play it for you and yeah. you sit in front of it so you can hear how it sounds. Yeah. But uh, I think 12 frets uh, represent a fantastic class of, of um uh, Tonal d diversity within the overall yeah. guitar universe. It's another that, flavor. It's not it that any so of nice. these are good or bad or anything. It's a different for, flavor. You know, I think a lot of folks would uh, associate with the fingerstyle players. Yeah. But uh, I think, you know, they, they also work very well in the hands of pickers. Yeah. Or well, and like you said, Ed Sheeran, he plays a little tiny mark. So, well, yeah, it cool. can help create a signature sound. Yeah. You know? It's fun. They're yeah. all fun. They're yeah. guitars. Oh, yeah. They're all There's, good. All right. There's no bad ones, no. really. Quentin, thanks. You bet. Thank you, everybody. See you soon.